Welcome back to the Black Parade. We uh, went down deep into the earth, found the uh, the silk strings, and the less we say about that, the better. We eventually found the tablets, and I can't read them, but maybe someone else can. Maybe we can finally start getting some answers about this whole curse nonsense. I don't know what's going on. And really, I think if I was human, I would just want to try and get this whole thing out of the way as soon as possible. I don't think he has any particular interest in stopping the necromancers per se. But I guess he needs to get this curse off him. Uh, I just noticed, uh, look, seeing out the window, that uh, it actually went... The last mission, it went from uh, night time when you start, to daylight when you end, and the same was happening for me because... Uh, it's now, you know, five, ten minutes since I finished that mission. Um, just took a very short break. Um, and it is, you know, it was nighttime when I started playing that. It's now daylight. Dim early daylight. Um, out the windows. I can't tell if there's any birds singing because I've still got my headphones on. Alright, uh, that's irrelevant, of course. What we want to do is see is, we've got these tablets. What's going to happen now? Are we going to get, like, double crossed or something? That's typically, this is typically the moment you get double crossed, right? I don't know. We'll see. Within the ramparts they made their home. No one knew for how long and for what purpose. Quest for a bastion to defend their magic. A place of erudition or a house to conspire. Now that I have both Aldrius' demise and Teidir's signet, getting the last item should be relatively easy, as hopefully I won't even have to steal it. The Hand Brotherhood has a sanctum in the city, in the old High Watch Castle. They mostly use it to study the peculiar telluric energies of the city, but it is also there that the Archmage Dubeach is buried, and where his magical amulet is kept. I need to tell the mages that Azaran the Cruel is about to partake in a dangerous ritual, and they will hopefully heed my warning and intervene. Since I already have the other two items needed to deflect the spell, the mages won't have to look for them, and that will make the whole thing much easier. There's one major obstacle, though. Convincing the Archmage in charge, Iorodo, will be no easy task. And there is no way the guards will let me through the gates. A servant I bribed whispered to me that the Archmage is very callous and is more interested in his experiments than anything else. Maybe if I explain things right and show him the items, he will listen to me. Getting to him will be hard as the castle is under constant watch by guards as well as the mages themselves. Once inside, I'll have to make my way to the castle's uppermost tower. I don't like this one bit, but this is the most logical plan I could come up with. Let's hope this works. All right, uh, I wasn't expecting to have to break into the mages' place, so that answered the question I had earlier, where it mentioned something about the High Watch castle mages and I said it felt like there was a plot point missing because we hadn't had any discussions with them and I guess the idea was we were just kind of betting that those discussions would happen later and they would be okay with it. I guess that's what we're trying to do now is get that sorted out. You need to convince Archmage Yorodo to stop Azaran, but getting to him will be difficult. Break into Highwatch Castle and find him in his quarters at the top of the keep, the highest tower. As tempting as it is, stealing valuables that belong to the mages or their men is the worst idea you can imagine. So avoid doing so. Loot goal zero. <laughs> nice twist. It goes without saying that the mages will not help you if you hurt them, their servants, or their guards. Don't injure these people in any way. You're so close to removing the brand, now isn't the time to falter. No matter how strong the urge, don't kill anyone. And return to your entry point when you're done. Huh, if we go back to normal, it's like the mages will understand your desperation up to a point. If you want any hope of getting their help, don't kill anyone within the castle walls. 
On normal, you're allowed to steal. That's interesting. <laughs> I watch is relatively peaceful these days. There is no need for a maniac who goes around killing innocent bystanders. Yeah, alright. We don't kill anyone, we don't. Injure, we don't. I guess well, that means we're not allowed to knock them out. We kind of just need to play an avoidance game, and if we get spotted, we can do, like, flash bomb and run away kind of tricks. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna want flash bombs, I guess. And no stealing? Do you realize how hard that's gonna be? <sighs> Alright, let's enter this arcane sanctum. How am I going to pay the rent? Potato signets and Algia demise. Give these two artifacts to Archmage Gerodos, the mages of the Hand Brotherhood can take action against Azaram. Got two disruption bombs, maybe they'll come in useful. Surprise the mages use electric lights, though. that's... That is a surprise. As a tip, the informant you bribe is offering additional information. 200, that's a lot of money. Let's get my flash bombs, let's get some healing potions. Let's, I guess we'll take the tip. Can I take one more of those? 250. That'll get me four more water arrows. I think I'm good on everything else. I mean, I wouldn't like another moss. Maybe I put one healing potion back. That'll certainly give me an, another, uh, let's take, hmm, two more moss, or one moss, and two more water. I don't want any fire arrows, I don't want a spirit potion. 550. This strange potion blurs the drinker's connection to the material world. Yeah. I still don't understand how they're supposed to work. They don't, it doesn't make sense to me. The feedback is all wrong. Um, yeah, two healing potions. Hopefully we'll do it. Three flash bombs should help me get out of trouble. Two disruption bombs to start with is fine. I don't need any more. I don't find them very useful. Especially when you're trying to hit lights on the ceiling and you throw them at a weird arc and miss and they're out of range. I don't know. Something, something... Uh, whoever, whoever invented them... Jodin and Mafiodo. Maybe they need a Disruption Bomb V2. Maybe that'll come in uh, the Black Parade sequel. Aha. Alright, let's go uh, say hello to the other stage. Oh, I started out on the streets. And there's... Some kind of celebrations going on? Suddenly decorated the place up. Do we have a map? Old the keep. Your order should be at the top. Small castle and old castle. So I guess we get into the small castle first. Alright, well let's wander around the streets the streets. I don't know. What do you bet? The arch turns out that the arts mage is actually in on the whole necromantic thing and he's part of the uh one of Azarine's friends. How's it going? The setting sun should bring me enough darkness that I can slip inside the castle walls unnoticed. There's fireworks. Hmm. Yeah, there's fireworks. Yeah, look a little half baked. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this is just a dead end street. Let's go this way first. I don't know, all these petals on the uh, floor are not... You remember that uh, that cutscene with the, the pagan cutscene with the petals being dropped on the floor? There's no eyeballs right now, so I guess that's... That's okay, we've got a couple of... Uh, crates if I want them. Oh, I don't have any money to give you, mate. I've got my lockpick back, that's good. What is the tip, actually? The doors to the upper floors of the old Highwatch castle are locked tight during dinner, making most of the castle inaccessible. Not the keep, though, as it is still guarded during dinner time. Hmm. 
How's that a tip? What does that mean? It means we're only gonna get in by the key? Hey, nice hat, man. Careful. Look where you breathe at. <laughs> so that's where we're getting. Ooh, frame rate dropping a half. You a lot of cells on display. Okay. <laughs> oh, the notices. The most humble confederation of rumble ballers presents the annual rumble ball challenge cup. Games will take place at High Town Square with schedule as follows: Thursday, Eastport Teamsters versus Lampire Hills Coaches, third hour. Dark Smoke Coal Miners vs. Dayport Dockers, 5th hour. Wednesday, I Watch Knights vs. Downtown Cellarers, 3rd hour. Downlock Rogues vs. North Quarter Grunts, 5th hour. Hammer's Day, Semi Finals, and Baron's Day, the Grand Finals. <laughs> Hear all, hear all. Whereas public meetings together in diverse parts of High Watch, under the present pretense of matches for sweel tossings, are by experience found to tend many times to the disturbance of the public peace and are commonly accompanied with evils such as gaming, drinking, swearing, quarrelling, and other dissolute malpractices to the great dishonour of the city, and also exposing her good citizens to the dangers of the plagues and diseases borne by these foul beasts. For prevention thereof, be it ordained by His Highness the Lord Mayor, by and with the advice and consent of his burgomasters and aldermen, that from henceforth there shall be no public meetings within High Watch upon matches made for sweel tossings, and that every such assembly of people for the end and purposes aforesaid is hereby declared to be an unlawful assembly and shall be so adjudged, deemed and taken to be, and punished. All lawmen, constables, wall captains, and other men of peacekeeping within their several limits and jurisdiction are hereby required to suppress, hinder, and disperse all such meetings. Thus signed and declared, Messavrinda, Lord Mayor of High Watch. <coughs> Sweel tossing, eh? Yeah, I can see why you'd want to stamp that out. Come, 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 flares, rope arrows, flash bombs, all is yours if you have the coin. For as much as I can't give credits, come back when you're a little richer. <laughs> who's, who's signing this? Who's selling, who's selling this stuff? Alright. No, let's not go, let's not cut across, let's go down the, uh, the street. From this side. I mean, can't we steal from the townsfolk on the way? You know, at least get my. Dancing, band playing. Nobody even walking around with purses on their belt that I've seen. It's a good question though. Think that doing to them in cracks now. Whatever they're doing, the wall deserves it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind giving a bloody manicure to the old boss myself. I still have nightmares. Me neither. But you think we can trust the new guy? Reputo? Better's mercy, no. But you can't trust him neither. Ain't that the story of our lives? Overpriced food, overpriced boots, overpriced everything. <laughs> Full of blood. No, it's tomatoes. Someone's been throwing tomatoes at this door. Are you guys gonna care if I pick the lock? I can't. You guys don't have a key on you, do you? Not your door? Interesting. Who's is the. Oh, is that the castle? That's the small castle. Side door of the small castle. People don't like the mages and are throwing tomatoes at them, or they just had an unfortunate tomato based accident, I guess. Well, I can't give you guys coins either, so. Let's hope the cook has something better in store today than yesterday.
can't even steal the food. Are they supposed to be saying something? different tune while people are playing music, that's just rude. <coughs> What's the shop? Hello. The basement we can see into. Just nothing. Ah. Open window there, that might be <sighs> something for us. We're finding nothing in the town. The town is bereft of. That's not an open window, that's a, just an archway. <sighs> Dang it, I thought this all. I thought that's. From what I saw here, I thought, oh, there's an open window into this building. And then we can go across in here, but that's... We doesn't even have a passageway, and it's too small. We need to try and find a key, I guess. Maybe we'll find a drunk mage passed out somewhere and we'll have a key to the side door. Everyone's celebrating. What are they even celebrating right now? Open grinder, nice. You see that? It's loot! Oh my god, 12 gold are rich! <sighs> ah. See, now we have loot. Does he have a, does he have balls that have money? No, look, hang on, I've got to see if I can now... Oh wait, there's a door, is there a doorway here? There's not a door. Can I... Toss a coin to my witcher, as it were? I don't think these guys had coins out had a bulb of coins out either, right? No. I think the answer is no. I think the answer is gonna be no, nope, you can't do that. Oh, they're just doing that idle chatter. No, nothing. Alright. I think our time money goes to pay these pusillanimous watchmen. Nah, they are just doing idle chatter. Who's hard to tell? Is it a, is it a conversation that you should be listening to or not? Because... It's... You're used to hearing people actually speaking when they're not just muttering to themselves. And you start to be actually being, uh... Being something to listen to, and now it's not, which is... A surprising effect of their, oh well, you know, we'll do this banter and make, uh, and make things more, I don't know, make the city more lively, I guess? There's probably more loot in the town than just that one. Oh, that's good. There's two things I found on this branch of town. Maybe I've just not been looking hard enough elsewhere. Hello, where's this? That's the door we can maybe open. We could do some swimming. Which, I wonder if there's any water crystals to be had. You know what, let's have a look around. Nobody's gonna mind us swimming around a bit, right? Yeah, that's gonna be worth. Maybe someone drops some, you know, a thousand coins in the bottom of the pool, bottom of the water. You never know. It's happened before. I don't think it's happened before. But it could happen. 
it happen now? Oh, we can get out of the water right there. Okay. Good to know there's a ladder. Swing around. So we maybe don't need a side door key. Maybe that's going to be the way out. And there's places like this too, you know. Which... Is this anything? Nope. Well, it's pretty cool. This big area is all accessible, even if it's. A little bit pointless to swim around in. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. So we're on the eastern side now. There are two ways into the old castle. We can fuck it up, we can see. What I haven't found is any more water crystals. That's kind of what I went in swimming for. I wasn't actually thinking about using it as a way in, but having a couple of options for a way in. Oh, more loot! Wow, that's worth fifty. That's that's. The real question is, can I grab those red flowers over there? No, I think if you bunny hopped it and strafed it, you could. Not that they're valuable, it's just like, yeah, that'd be possible. You could maybe rope arrow it. Hang on, let's just do a silly experiment here. <sighs> There's no, absolutely no reason to want them. Oh, too low. Nah, it's not wood. I wasn't sure. Was, the contrasts are too bright for me to really tell. Alright. Back to business. Looking for more water crystals I can find them. There's another one. So one free moss is great. One free, two free water is also great. I'm happy enough with having found those. But I'm going to go back around to where we started. Because there's a bit more town to explore before we start on the job. And we've got 62 gold. That's at least enough for uh, a nice hot meal when we're done. And after tonight we're going to need it with all this, after all this swimming around. Oh, this is a nice little <laughs> corner. Oh, that was silver, okay. I just can't believe I am working to earn just four stupid coins. And some bread. That's the two thug, is it, who are... Talking about Procudo versus the wall. Three free waters, okay. I was gonna say, why is there a brown patch there? And I look up and see there's a big, a big hole for dumping. Uh, get out of nice touch. It's a little odd that it's so brightly highlighted, but I guess that's the light above showing down. Drawing attention. Look! Swimming around in the same water we dump out. Right in. Don't you just love it? I don't know where I came in now. Okay, that's the ladder. Oh, another water. Well, we were down that way, so. This is part of the water I've not explored yet, I guess. Right, there's the bonfire. You know, exciting watching. 25 minutes of... Well, it's not been 25 minutes of swimming around, but we haven't been swimming around for quite a while. Some of it was, some of it was watching a cutscene, and some of it was... Uh, Another one. 
some of it was deciding what to purchase at the shop. Right, this is where we started. Right, we came down the steps. Now, I did see a place here I could have climbed out of the water, and I can't remember if I did. So, I'm just going to get one last quick look here. Did I climb out here and have a look? <sighs> yes, I did. Okay, cool. We're done. We're done in the water. Unless I choose to go into the water, you know, use the water as my way in. If I can find a back door key, I might like to use the back door, but... Well, these steps should go down a lot further, unless this is, like, already a super low tide. <sighs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's really, uh... The ebbest of ebb tides. Is Ebbest a word? Gillian Stanton, bailiff of Knave Stitch. Hang on, wasn't there a door back here I wanted to open? Didn't I see a door here? Yeah. Just a, just a reveler. Shop that sells worthless, worthless plates and trays. Bailiff's place might have some stuff. And we're only forbidden from stealing valuables that belong to the majors. Furthermore, I'm telling her to leave me alone. With all due respect, sir. You can barely stand. Let me walk you to your bedchamber. Keep your dirty paws off my silk tunic, you shriveled, pagan, smelly, tough and anarchist cave dweller. I need to be drunk to, to write my, my masterpieces. So do me a favor and scurry off. I am your lord. Hey! Whatever you say, stop chaffing with me. Show yourself. Oh, shit, I think you heard me. Nobody fights for me. Show yourself. I you. Let's just get some darkness out here. Yeah, they both saw me while they were doing their conversation. <sighs> well, we do have a quick escape exit here if we need it. Whoops. Let's not stand in the light. Dang it, he's coming out here into the... You can't hide for long! Wait, what? Oh, he's doing... <laughs> ah, he was... His trigger was not so... Hang on, is that a bottle? Or... Moss arrow? It's a bottle. Come out here! I dare you! There it goes, triggers again. Whoops. Minimum... The, the maximum world level is not set to... One is set to two. So he's uh, doing what should be part of his idle patrol as, as part of his hunting for bad people. Dear Ma, finally managed to buy a flat. This place ain't got any of these fancy electrical lights, but it's better than the damp rooms of the River District Inn. Bit of a pain to get to. I need to go through a few small courtyards before reaching my door. The flat has a nice garden overlooking the castle moat. It's shared between tenants, and there's always drinks and fun card games going on. Ma, I really think this is it this time. I'm done with shady deals in warehouse backyards. A friend of mine introduced me to some weird printing company in dire need of a good grease hand. I can't tell you what paper that place prints, as I forgot the name. And besides, we don't know a damn thing about a proprietor, other than he seems to be a complete lunatic and is apparently related to the great families. My guess is his relatives didn't want to see him tarnish the family crest, but didn't want him to rot in Grimstock's asylums either, so they bought him a nice little print house to keep him busy. Well, I can't complain about it. The pay's actually really good, and we're always cackling at his antics. Yesterday I told him the pagans were able to read our thoughts via old magics, and the only way to stop this was to punch oneself in the tarry wags. And he actually did it, the utter madman. Not much else to say, really. I hope everything is alright at home. With love, your circle. Tarry wags. What a word. Don't go punching yourself in the tarry rags too often. Unless you really seriously have a pagan problem. Oops. Nobody? Okay, so that'd be a way in. We could go across the chain there. 
and that will get us in the southeast corner. All right, Bayless Place is unrelated to anything. I do want to do it, but I want to rob this guy first. So. You don't want to spend it. <sighs> the guard goes downstairs. Which is interesting. I might just knock the guard out, I think. He deserves a day off, don't you think? Since this is just a side business. Ugh. What are this guy's artwork? Such vigor. Such passion. Looks like he vomited on the canvas. You never know, maybe he did. Shoo you! Can't you see I'm busy here? Well, that was... nothing, I guess. Alright, I'll screw. Oh. Free more Sarah, okay. You can stop playing games, you know? <sighs> Can't jump from here, it looks a little too high. I can maybe make the jump from up here. Instead of picking a lock, you know, let's try and be <sighs> artful about this. Isn't it a lovely night to be celebrating by jumping in the water? Let's go do it again! No, I don't let them know we're up to anything suspicious. I don't know if I can stand on this, actually. Let's find out. Nope. Wee! Swimming is so much fun! I love diving. I'm not suspicious. Oh, these, these uh, flags, by the way, they're another stock model that was never used in the game. They were in the Thief 1 files, but never actually used. There's similar ones from Baffert as well. <sighs> So that's a really nice use of them. I've seen them in a couple of fan missions around the place, but uh, never found a use for them myself. Oh, there's another pile of slag. Oh, okay, so this doesn't even get us into the. There's nothing, there's nothing here. This doesn't get us into the bailiff's place. Nice, that's a nice art right there, nice on scabbage. Doesn't give me anything. Absolutely no reason to be in this garden except to just sit here, listen to the music, breathe the fresh air, and jump in the water for fun! For celebrations. Alright, let's try picking this lock. We'll eventually get down to business, you know? We can't, okay. So the back door key uh, doesn't seem to be a way in. So that's interesting. Why is the bailiff's place locked? And there was a back door here to the small castle that was also locked. So we could get in via the water there, we could get in onto this bridge. Or we could climb the chains. You know what, we're nearest the chains, I think. I think that should be our approach. Can I mantle up from here? Probably not, but if I jump from here, we can't get up there. Let's just go around through the house again.
Who is making all that noise? I'm sure not even more mind. Is someone there? Oh, I see how we can get to the Baylor's house. Sorry, we changed the plan. Whee! Right. The Baylor's gotta have some loot. We're so short on loot. We need... We need places to get loot. Worthless. The City Herald. The last bonfire festival is officially launched. The populace of Highwatch was disappointed to hear the news of the bonfires being prohibited by Mesa Brinda on account of the risks of fire. The argument of the Great Fire of 782 was especially prevalent in Mesa Brinda's rationale. But after enough pushback from the festival organizers, the Lord Mayor decided to relent and begrudgingly allow bonfires this year after all. The festival, which is centuries old, begins with two days of festivities in the streets of Highwatch, where musicians, street performers, artists, and jesters flock to the streets for a jolly good time, and on the third day after the sun sets, light bonfires all across the quarter. Lady Calendra, burgomaster of the River District, was quoted by the Herald as saying, I am glad the good Mesa Brinda allowed the last bonfire festival to take place this year. It is an important part of Highwatch's culture that sets it apart from the other quarters and districts of the city. We, denizens of Highwatch, are proud of our heritage and our customs. Father Lillard, however, is not very happy with the news. He told the Herald, As with every year, Mesa Brinda, and the High Watch Lord Mayors before him, makes a mistake of allowing this heretical festival to take place. In truth, there have been many instances of overt worship of the trickster that were observed by proud members of the Order of the Hammer. We cannot tolerate such obscenity in the streets of the Quarter. We shall keep an eye on the goings-on during the festival and chastise anyone who partakes in pagan worship. Be warned, heathens! Rumple Ball. We remind our dear readers that the annual Rumple Ball Challenge Cup is taking place from Fears Day to Baron's Day. Last year's winners, the downtown sellers, will defend their title and perhaps even claim a double. Buy your tickets now! This week's Bear Pipe Fights. Pat and Poof vs. Vlad, Nipsen, Shut Up, and Tour All Up on Mons Day. Here's his key. Unlabeled. It's not going to work for the side, for the other door, surely. It's just unlabeled key. We've got a silver fire poker. We're not going around to the other door. We'll just, we'll just leave his key on the side table and make him think he left his door unlocked, right? And that he mislaid his fire poker somewhere. Okay. Round again. Third time's the charm. This poor fellow is going to be very upset by... Uh, all the constant noise. Ah, he's so drunk. You'll probably think he made it as noise himself. Who's there? Nobody hides from me. Show yourself. Oh, didn't close the door. Ah, who made that noise? Ah, who didn't put that chain there under my feet? They moved the chain. I swear. They said third time's a charm. See, that's the thing, the rule of three is so overdone, nobody likes the rule of three. You gotta do things four times for them to be worthwhile. One for each of the elements, you know. All makes perfect thematic Shoot sense. You. Can't you see I'm busy here? Okay. Huh? Is someone there? Hey! We could maybe make the jump in there. I'm sure there's nothing. Yeah, we can definitely make that jump. But there might just be too much water. That'd be a good place to hide a secret, right? I, I don't see anything. Alright. Maybe I'll get down to business now instead of endless prevarication. <sighs> Good thing most of the guards are having dinner. I don't know how I could have entered this place otherwise. That's an awesome roof. 
and a pretty awesome uh, column of books in the middle. Very, a really simple layout here, but putting that staircase in between the two parts is very cool. Alright, do we have a map? We don't have a map of this place, right? Oh, I do! Oh, we've got a map of the small castle as well. We've got both parts. I didn't realize the small castle was accessible. Okay, so where are we entering here? The library. I guess. Northeast corner? Yeah. I do hear a guard. Oh, those windows are to an upper floor of the library. more books up there. Interesting. So that's the last floor, that's cool. It's neat touch, so we can go south out of here. Or south... Literally south, it's not marked. Or we could go down the stairs. Let's try this door. Might be we need a key. We do need a key, okay. Uh, lots. Door in the library. Make a note. More mutant barracks by the sounds of it. There's a courtyard. Right, stables. See, I can't, like, rub out the oil lamps, but I guess... <sighs> Who's a bit horsey? Sorry for startling you. Guys are gonna come investigate who's spooking the horses. Just me, in case they're wondering. Smoke bomb, right? I do have my disruption bombs and smoke bomb bombs on hotkeys now, so if I remember, when I, when I want one, I can get one. Hello. Speaking of disruption bombs, there's three of them now. That's good. Flash smoke bombs. I still haven't figured out where they're useful, especially compared to. Uh, uh, flash bombs. Alright, well... We've been there. The locked door in this library isn't going to do me any good. I think we're going out here. Into this garden. Yeah, okay, I want to head up to the gate house. I want to check out the small castle first. Oh! Don't steal valuables. I've been, I've been. As a matter of course, taking everything I can lay my hands on. But I guess the valuables is a different matter than utensils. You know, items of value of use are fair game, I guess, because the mission didn't fail on us. Is there something wrong with his face? Or has he just got one of those masks that mostly covers his nose? <laughs> I wonder if there's any moss growing in these gardens. You never really know. But it would not seem to be so. Who is there? Is someone there? Nothing making noise now. What a silly idea. <sighs> There'll be someone here.
Where's he going? Did you see something over there? Just the way. Wind, I guess. I guess I could use my more traditional X rather than slash this time. And the uh, frame for the ivy there. Oh, the gatehouse is. I mean, the gate should be openable from this side. Right? This may be an issue with my plan. These guards getting in the way is definitely an issue with my plan. Maybe you can get in from there where that archer just went. Oh, there's a high window up there. Maybe I can... Maybe I can open that. Let's try that shot again, shall we? I'm surprised I missed that. Usually my aim is better. What is that? Not wood. It is wood. Okay. My aim is just off. I wasn't sure. I mean, I mean, at high, high vertical angles, it's a lot harder than uh, lower angles because the the drop of the, the arrow drop is much harder to predict. All right, he's gone. That's fine. <sighs> That's quite the climb, actually. Ah, it doesn't even open. Awkward. Getting down could be uh, a trick. Well, I could get down. A leap to that roof would probably not kill me. Probably. But I could always rope down, I suppose, and leave my rope behind. I don't really want to leave a rope behind. Yeah, was there any reason to do this? No. That's just stone there. There's no wood there that I can rope, rope to, is there? There's another window on that one. How would I get to that? Um, I can't climb those vines right to save myself. <laughs> well, alright. We're not, we're not going that way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to kill myself there. I was going to try the jumping on the roof to get down, but... Oh, I've already shot my rope there. Right, I'll have to try to jump anyway. Jump to that way and we should be fine. There we go. A little noise, perhaps, but... I, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Get back here, you coward! He's not doing the seize me when he walks into me thing. But he does have a big full, full head, head <sighs> helmet. That's why his face looks weird. So, I don't know what's up with that. They're supposed to see. Did that work? It did! But it's not going to do me any fucking good. Like, if I can get onto that light... Which isn't going to happen. I don't know if you get onto that rope. But there's no way to get onto that light. Unless I can stand on this roof. Huh? 
Nah, I can't climb on this roof. I can climb on the wall here, right? Actually. Was that you? Oh well. Don't know what it was. But I can't find this. He just won't even try mantling it, it's too steep. Ah. Don't make me come find you. Alright, let's try and test this out. Yeah, can't knock him out. We're not allowed to hurt anybody, so... Alright. Third times... You know what third times are like. I need my rope, and I need to make that jump. Intruder! Help! Help! That was a lot noisy than the last time, but maybe I can make this part of the jump safely. Okay. I don't mind the noise. The noise is fine, but I got my rope. They're not going to find me up here. They're going to give up soon. This is super high. Like, I, why, why do you have those wooden beams beneath an open window? That's, that's just rude. That's just really rude. And I, wait, is that this guy's tower? Actually. It said the, the highest tower. That is kind of the highest tower, isn't it? Maybe that's actually where I need to be? Here? This tower? No, this one. It is the tower at the south side. So that's a different one. So that's not the highest tower. There's a higher tower than that. Okay. All these guys will give up in a minute. I don't want to... I've got lots of water out, but I don't want to waste it on this torch. I don't think it's worth it. They don't really know where the sound came from. Yeah, I'm adding to it. <sighs> Maybe that was a good tactic, actually. Gives me an opening here while he's searching over there. What is this? Just a little uh, ornamental shiny bond, as they say. Dang it, someone's coming. They said the doors are all locked tight, that's right. Oh, he saw me. That's not fair. You didn't say anything. You're supposed to make a noise so I know that you've seen me. Where were you anyway? I don't know where he is. Ah, oh, he's walking back this way. Okay. Back on his patrol, I guess. Calm down. Let's not get seen picking that door. Let's try climbing this hedge. Passageway. Climbing was roping wasn't unnecessary. But clever, right? Nice buttresses. Ooh, getting more frame rate drops. This place is pushing uh, visible cell limits. Well, pushing lots of visible cells. It's probably not pushing the limits too much. 
The limits are pretty generous in Nida. How do we get in? The keep. Does say everything except the keep would be locked up tight? Why do we have a map of the whole small castle if other places are not locked up tight? Oh well. We're in now. So that just mean most doors are just gonna never gonna be openable. Is someone just is someone just telling me that it's uh here's outdoors. Man, this room looks really cool. And it's... I hate it. I hate looking at other people's maps when they do things like this, because it looks really cool and it's really simple and I never know how to make stuff that looks like that. Ah! <laughs> Please! Please! No one's looking. It'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. Nobody's gonna care. I had to try it. I had to check. See how serious it was. It's serious. No touching loot. Okay, where are we? We came in... Uh, door... We came in a southern door and we're in a place... Northwestish. Right, we came in this door. I'm gonna go up to the bars. You know what? No, I don't really need to go up to the bars. I, maybe, maybe I should be mission focused on this. Because everything's locked up, because we're not allowed to take loot, maybe it makes sense just to... Oh, it's locked as well, right? Yeah. I guess I should just stop trying doors. Where are we? This is looking out west. Okay, so where's the best way to the keep then? To upper floors from the dining room? Hmm. Well, maybe that's the thing we're going to need to do is, is we can get to some of these places, but not all of them. I didn't get down here, right? Oh, yeah, it is. But there's a basement here. Iorodo's quarters should be at the top of this tower. I guess it is a taller tower. Alright, I guess we're going in here. Yeah, to upper floors. Okay. We don't have a map, so... But the tower's that way. We wanna go that way if we can. Is the stairs maybe? That is indeed stairs, that's good news. Although who needs stairs? Actually, this is a good chance to test, actually. So you can see all these carpets on the wall? Very... It's a neat touch. Eh! Loot! The mission... Everybody's least favourite mission is just like, I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to take any loot. Because carpets should accept, uh... Well, the ceiling will accept the repair. I think the guard's coming back. Let's get out of here. <sighs> the carpets should take repairs. Yeah, he was indeed coming back. I'm still trying to get east. Hello. Hello. Is this going to take me higher up? It is. That's nice. Do I put a moss here? I, mean, I don't think I need to. <sighs> Ooh, hot, top. Got an intruder? No. Well, kind of. One of these mages lowered some kind of monster in one of the laboratories and locked it inside. What? 
Are you tapping me? Wish I was. But the thing inside does these really chilling noises. Gives me the creeps. And I didn't even see it. We're not even allowed to patrol the corridor. Mages said we wouldn't stand a chance against the creature if it escapes. That's sick! <clears throat> Okay, well, well, that's pretty sick indeed. Um, but I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Uh, good thing we didn't try going in the basement, right? There's some weird monster loose in there. We just have to get to the top of the tower and we're done. Never gonna need to see that basement and tackle that monster, I'm sure. So, see you next episode for not tackling the monster.